Praise the Lord everyone, my name is Mario. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. The theme of this whole entire channel and me as your host is, I just wanna show you that we are just real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in divine way. What this channel is about, we're about doing commentary, reactions to videos, sharing Bible content to uh, encourage you, to lift you up. And then on the side, me and my wife will sometimes do a couple of vlogs. So again, if that's something that you are interested in uh, entertaining your eyes, consider subscribing. But I wanna get right into today's video. And as you all read the title, uh, what this video is going to be about is I'm gonna tell you all the one thing that I'm changing moving forward. Now, we're ending 2020, and I'm not here to, to sum up what 2020 was. You all know what has happened. It's been a difficult year for a lot of people, but it's not been the worst year. Um, it's been tough for some, but again, there's been tougher years. And as you all know, this thing that has consumed the media, has consumed our daily lives, in fact, changed our daily lives and some of our habits is becoming a growing and growing problem. And I'm not talking in a, in a medical standpoint of view, I'm talking about how it's affecting our minds. See, this year I did something that I have been so good about not doing for so many years. I made a decision early in my 20s that I would not do this one thing. You wanna know what that is? This year I started watching the news. I started consuming the media again. And if you all don't know, the media, all they wanna do is push an agenda. They want to uh, put you in a complete state of fear. And I'm not saying fear is a, is a bad thing, right? internally and instinctively we all have our own fears and it's it's our mind it's our bodies trying to protect itself and protect protect you ultimately but when you sit there and constantly consume this fear media it changes you it affects your mind see i would wake up negative i mean they they always want to have a negative output on anything and that the world's coming to an end and there's no hope for anything and they play that 24 seven. And so I had to make a decision. A couple of days ago, I was on my YouTube app and I unsubscribed from every single news media source. Now these were news sources that I actually trusted. I actually enjoy listening to Ben Shapiro on the Daily Wire. I enjoy listening to Michael Knowles commentary, uh, Charlie Kirk, Steven Crowder, the conservative twin. These are news sources that I actually believe in what they are producing. But what I found myself is I would just piggyback off their criticism from what they were spending their whole work, criticizing what the other side of the aisle was doing, what they were saying, what they were thinking. And I found myself just mad. And not only was it a year of politics, but uh, usually around August, September, everyone's a politician. Everyone wants to be informed. Everyone wants to make the right decision. You all have that right. But I wasted away so many hours of conversation that could have been good in arguing what I believed, right? And ultimately not changing what the other person believed. And while I'm not ignoring politics and I'm not ignoring what the government's position is on, on a lot of things, uh, what I am here to say is I'm done with it. This day moving forward, going into the new year, I'm not watching any news anymore. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm tired of, of the constant narrative. I'm tired of every conversation that I have has to surround this thing that is growing, th this thing that I don't even wanna say anymore. As, as a matter of fact, the three words I'm eliminating moving forward going into the new year is Corona, COVID and pandemic. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I feel like there's so much more meaningful conversations that you and I can have, that an apostolic can have with an unbeliever or another believer that that doesn't have to be around this thing. Sometimes I, I feel like that that the church, and, and again, this is my opinion, it's not a reflection of anyone that, that pastors over me or the ministers, but sometimes I feel like that this thing that we believe it's more dangerous than cancer all of a sudden. And, and that's just absurdity. I mean, come on, can we talk about the woman in the Bible who had an issue of blood for 12 years? Can we talk about Lazarus being raised from the dead? I mean, there's been way more dangerous things that, 
and way more deadly things that people in the Bible got over, what makes this any different? See, if we continue to watch the media, or if I personally continue watching that, I would actually continue to start believing that. But I had to snap out of it. I had to make a decision. It was time that this year I'm taking back my mind. I'm taking back of the things that I am choosing to digest daily. See, everything that you watch, everything that you hear, everything that is entering those two canals is going to affect the way you think. And if we lose our minds, what else do we have to offer? Nothing. We have nothing left to offer. And I don't want to be that. Uh, so I made a decision personally that I'm going to stop watching the news. And you may criticize me for that, and it may be radical, but I'd rather have my head in the sand and forget about what's happening in this world because nothing else is more important than what happens around these four walls in my home. Nothing else matters around the four walls of my church. Those are the most important things to me, and I need to do better. Us apostolics need to do better in moving forward. We are much greater than this thing. 2021 can be such a positive and powerful year if we will just stop acknowledging it. We have the name of Jesus, for Christ's sake, on our side. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. I mean, do we need to be reminded of the power that, that we possess? There are lost souls out there that have suffered through depression, losing jobs through this whole thing suicide because of what this thing is causing and we have the opportunity to just go up to an unbeliever and just share with them the good news of Jesus Christ and to give them hope because what I was doing is I was being fed a hopeless message from the media from the news and what I want to do now is now spread a hopeful message to people who are constantly watching the news where there is no hope. There is no better day. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. There is no greener grass on the other side. But as a matter of fact, in Jesus name, there is. And so I'm curious what you all are going to do. What's the one thing you could change this year moving forward to take back your mind? What's the one thing you've been spending hours and hours consuming that has affected your train of thought? And the great thing about it is it's not too late to change. We can change that habit today. And I hope you all will do this. I hope you all will take that challenge. And if this resonated with you, please, I ask you that you like this video and share it on your social media because this is a serious topic. If you lose your mind, you have nothing else. You have nothing else. But it's time to take back our mind this year. It's time to look forward to a great, positive, power 2021. It's time to look forward on a great, brand new adventure going into 2021 and we're going to do it together we're going to win souls this year this channel is going to grow in the name of jesus and i hope you all have resonated with this message again my name is mario thank you all for watching god bless you peace